Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Now, you have brought along something new from Lenovo. I have. What is that? This is the Lenovo Mix 2 8. 8 because it's 8 inch. Yay! 2 so because it's the second one. 2 because it's the second mix. <laughs> yes, so this is brand new. It just came on, onto the market um, very recently. And there's a couple of competitors as well that have pretty much the exact same specs as this one. Dell has something similar. Dell has uh, the, Asus the does. Venue Pro. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Toshiba has the Excite, I believe. Yeah, these are all 8 inch Windows 8. Actually, 8.1 now. Tablets. Yeah, this one's 8.1 yeah. specifically, and it's full 8.1. So you're going to be able to get onto the desktop if you wanted to. You could use a stylus. It's not Metro. Use, no. You could even use, uh, this one comes with Microsoft Office and Student Edition. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, you get a nice little extra, you know, $140 piece of office. Can on I get a keyboard uh, to attach to that or is it just it's just a You tablet. could do a Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted okay. to, but there is no it's specific not like a one. surface. No, doing. it's not. Yeah. And they also sell an extra um, a cover if you wanted to buy that too. It's about 30 bucks on their website. I didn't get to review the cover. I just right. have the tablet itself, but uh, as far as form factor goes, it's, it's little. really nice. It's very little. It's very lightweight. Yeah, I can hold can it with one it hand. Compare it to my uh, that's the Nexus 7, which is yeah. a 7-inch tablet. It's very similar. Very similar in size. Yeah. Both of them are built really nice, that's for yeah. sure. And they, this one weighs just a little bit more. This one's 12 ounces. Well, it's got a full operating system on it. It's not just it Android. Does, yeah. it's, uh, it's Windows Pro. And it has nice insides, too. It's got 32 gigs of storage space on here. Wow. It also has uh, plenty of RAM, 2 gigs of RAM, which is just fine that's for fine. this. Yep. As far as the processor goes, it's an Intel Atom Baytrail quad-core processor. Baytrails are good, the ones we were waiting for. It Does is. it have, can you add an SD card storage on it? Or? Yes. So I'm not stuck with 64. So right on the side, I know you hate these. It has a flap. Well, that's all right. I understand. <laughs> that I don't mind so much because you put that right in there. and you close the flap and you Little never see it Little micro SD, again. and that's yeah. right next to the charger. Micro, yeah. uh, there we go, micro USB. And close that up here at the top we have the volume and power uh, battery on this guy lasts about eight hours or so that's about what i was able to get out of it people are saying you could get up to 10 but they must not be using it right. very much because right. i wasn't able to get up to 10 hours did you watch video on it how was that i did so speaking of video the resolution on here is only 1280 by 800. Yeah. So they say it's full HD IPS screen, so really PhD. nice viewing yeah, yeah. viewing angles. But when you're reading things on here, when you're reading very small text like the comments, you can really tell. If you're used to like an iPad Air or something like that, you can really tell a difference. It ain't Retina, baby. It ain't Retina, unfortunately. So, I'll so pull let's up. watch. This is a this is a review the early that a before you Justin earlier did before you bought. Back. Okay. And I'm going to pull up 720. There we go. And I'll make it full. It looks and pretty I'll pretty crisp. There we go. It's also frozen, but there we go. Yeah, that happens. Hey, JRY. Yeah. So, pretty decent. It looks pretty good with videos as far as that goes. But it's just the text that I had issues with reading. Yeah. And right now it's having some buffering issues here in the studio. I don't know if that's it. That's probably our... That's, I yeah, blame that's most likely our web. Yeah. The Windows key on this side, it is not physical. It is touch. Have you ever played with a Dell Venue 8? Uh, I have not, I but we do have one, and we're going to be reviewing okay, it, I good. believe, next week. So okay. we'll be able to get a really nice comparison yeah. of the two side Seems by side. Seems pretty similar. Yes, it's very, very similar. Um, but honestly, for this one, they say on Lenovo's website it costs around $389, 389 See, that's, but, that's too much. But, yeah, that's the thing. Lenovo still has it at that price, but you can get it at Best Buy for 200 bucks. That I would do. That's less... Than this Nexus 7. That's amazing. And that's 32 gig storage. And wow. you can also get a 64 gig version as well. That one just costs $50 extra. I so believe. shop around for this. Yes, yeah, shop around for it. Get it for a good deal because honestly, I wouldn't spend $389 either. Uh, I found it online a lot of different places for $299 if you're not if you don't have a Best Buy in your area or if you don't want to shop online for on that website. But pretty much it's it's decent. It's really fun. I really like the 
fact that they keep full Windows on here, and it's Windows 8.1, so you don't have to update it at all. I like it that it comes with Office. I love that it comes that's, with Office. That saves you, you a lot of money. you can access the desktop on that's here. That's the cheapest so way to do, buy Office. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> do everything you can normally do yeah. on a desktop. It works very well as far as that goes. The speakers, I think, could be a little bit louder. There's only one on the back up here, and you have to cup your hand around it to really get some good sound out of it and boost it up all the way. I think that you can't plug I've had that problem up. a lot. Uh, let's see. Like yeah, a there's a headphone jack, jack right up there. Yeah. the top. Yeah. yeah, right there. So That's probably you can how always you do headphones. Do yeah. I really like the fact that I can hold this in one hand. Amazing. It doesn't weigh very Look at much. That. I, I really like this new line of Windows tablets. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did right. because it's Windows 8 and, you know, it's, it's that operating Before system. you get to the pros and cons, a couple of questions. Does It, it has a camera? It has a camera. Yep, I did have some back. fun with the camera. Oh, uh, there is as a, usual. Yeah, so those poor people who share your office. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're always the guinea pigs, aren't they? <laughs> they are the guinea pigs. So there's two cameras on here. There's a front camera. Uh -huh. It's uh, two megapixels, and the back is five megapixels. Okay. Good enough for Skype. And I had a little bit of fun with it here in the studio, taking some photos of some of my buddies that I work with. This is the front camera. It's very grainy, even with our high light here in the studio. Although, with the front camera, I was able to get some pretty cool photos. I was able to do this oh, kind of photosphere yeah, thing yeah. with the front camera. That's and neat. Or the back camera, excuse me. And it looks pretty good as far as, you know, taking pictures with it go. It also has a gyroscope, so I can tilt it around, which is a kind of Oh, fun that's picture. a neat way to do a photosphere. Yeah, isn't that neat? like that. Whee! It's kind of like cool. That. I had a lot of fun with it, although it sort of gives you vertigo after a while. Um, you can take videos with it, like I took this one, but the sound quality is not very good on it. You but can't needs even a better it. microphone. Okay. Yeah, needs a better microphone, but decent enough video for a tablet. Yeah. So it's just kind of, yeah, okay, it's average. Nothing too special. So the it. second question, no stylus, right? No stylus. You okay. can purchase a stylus, though, if you wanted to. Oh, you could? Yeah, okay. you can purchase one. It just wouldn't slot into it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. no slot, unfortunately. That yeah. would be nice if they did include that. Yeah. So, pros and cons? Yeah. You ready? All ready. right. So, solid design. Really like the design of the size and everything like that. Full Windows 8.1 experience and a very, very bright screen. Uh, the competitors to this one don't have bright screens like this one do. So, I really like that about this. Although, on the con side, I feel like the speakers are lacking and the screen resolution for all of the ones that are the same size, same uh, specs as this one, all the screen resolutions I think could be boosted up a little bit higher, especially when it comes to things like reading. Uh, uh, ebooks and such mm -hmm. uh, articles online all of those things so if i was to give this a buy try or don't buy i really had fun with it uh but i feel like you should definitely check out the the top ones in this market to figure out which one is best for you so i would give it a try try on all three really try just to on make all sure three, yeah. that you know there's differences and so forth absolutely yeah, yeah. yes although if you can really get it for 199 bucks that's pretty that's a pretty bucks. aggressive price i'm pretty sure that's the cheapest yeah. one you can find on the market that's yeah. a really good price yeah but there are some differences so yes so, so try before you buy absolutely thank you shannon shannon more snubs